everybody, Special Agent 9 here with the Act 2 finale, The Bogdan Problem. There are actually several ways that you can do this finale, but first we're going to look at the traditional way that you're supposed to do the finale, the way that Rockstar has it set up for you to do this. So we're going to use a four-man crew, but you can do this two-man or three-man, doesn't matter. We do recommend a four-door car, that way everyone in the crew can ride together. You don't have to wait for everybody to get to the destination. The Neon is currently the fastest four-door in the game. So when you get there, half the team is going to get into the Stromberg, the submarine car. Uh, the other half of the team will be getting into the Avenger. You want one person to get up front and be the pilot, another person will run and get in the back so they can get on a turret. Like so. The Avenger will fly out towards where the submarine is submerged under the water. The submarine car is doing the same thing. They're just driving towards the submarine. It is very, very tight quarters inside the submarine. Two people cannot really fit through the hallways side by side. One person is going to have to be in the lead. It is best if you go into first person mode while you're going through the submarine. You can see a lot more, shoot a lot more quickly. The assault shotgun is the weapon that we recommend for being inside the submarine and if you pay attention to the route this is the quickest method for getting through the sub you want to move through here as quickly as you can in order to get the elite challenge on this heist finale you have 15 minutes to do the finale and get the elite challenge which is absolutely doable in the traditional method using the avenger it is very very easy to get the elite challenge just move through the sub as quickly as you can if you do have two people in the sub Leave one person behind in the control room, and then that way they can take the picture immediately as soon as the hostage is frightened enough downstairs. Meanwhile, the Avenger team will be shooting down a bunch of different helicopters, and inside the sub, the longest cinematic in the game will begin. The sub team will be inside this cinematic for many minutes. They will have a bunch of conversation, Meanwhile, your Avenger team is shooting down all kinds of stuff that's spawning it. It doesn't stop. It goes on throughout the entire cinematic and it gets worse and worse and worse as time goes by. Yes, the cinematic is still going. with the doomsday story this is of course when the betrayal is revealed finally it's over and your sub team will climb out of the sub if you're doing this the traditional way then you will swim as close to the bottom of the water as possible stay down low so the choppers above cannot hit you swim straight to the beach and get into the Avenger and this is what it looks like from the air when the cinematic ends three last air vehicles will spawn in for you to shoot down and by the way, you can have, if you have two people in the Avenger, both of them can be on a turret shooting. The pilot only has to engage the autopilot and then climb back there and get on a turret. So two turrets can be going at the same time until it's time to go pick up the team. You want to park to the right of the beach where all the vehicles are parked. Have your team swim straight up, scoop them up, and fly off towards the landing point. will be choppers pursuing you. You can shoot them down. You don't have to. You can just as easily outrun them and they won't really do that much damage to the Avenger while you're flying away. So if you want to have fun and shoot at them, go ahead. Just make sure you stop shooting before you get to the hangar where you're going to land because if you blow up any vehicles inside the hangar, it will fail this heist. That's what the standard Pack 2 finale looks like with a four-man team. We are going to get the Elite Challenge here. You'll see that it's very, very easy to do so. But there are other ways to complete this finale without using the Avenger. 
Okay, so let's do it again with the same four-person team, except this time we're going to drive out there in our four-person car, and we're going to stop short of the Avenger. We're not going to go all the way to the Avenger. We're going to stop at an intersection about a half a block before, and the sub-team is going to get out and get in the Stromberg and do the normal thing that they would do, but your air team is going to call Pegasus, at least one member of the air team, call Pegasus, and you can call in almost any Pegasus vehicle you want. Right now you want to call in the Diddy. That's a four-person boat. It's the fastest four-person boat in the game. We tested. So you want to turn your car back around, face it back towards the Avenger, okay? Then your air team gets in the dinghy, and you're going to go get set up right out here. Now this is exactly where you want to park. Pay very close attention to your map. You will see the different shadings that indicate different water depths on the map here. These are the only distinguishing features you have right now because you're out in the middle of the water. So look very closely, pay attention. You will see a rectangle of shallow water sticking out by itself, a slender rectangle, and then it makes a square in a larger surface of water. And that's where you want to park the dinghy. You'll be right there in the middle of that square. Meanwhile, your sub team is down on the sub, doing everything they normally would do. They've got their assault shotguns out, they're in first person, they're taking everybody down, and they're running through the sub as quickly as they can in order to end this finale. Alright, so you see here on the map, you're inside the little open square. It's very crisp, clean lines. Take a good look at it. You want to be pretty much right in the middle of that square on the map. That is where your team is going to surface when they're done with the cinematic. Your air team now only has to sit in the boat and wait for the sub team to finish. Mostly they're going to be waiting on the cinematic to finish. If you look on the map, there's no sign of helicopters in sight. There's no danger. That's because you stopped short of the Avenger. Stop short of the Avenger, don't go all the way to the Avenger, or you will trigger the helicopters. But if you stop short, there will be nothing. And all this time, of course, the Avenger is not taking any damage. So it's an easier way to get the Elite Challenge if you're having trouble getting the Elite Challenge. So now, when your sub team exits the sub, they just swim straight up. And the boat will be right there waiting for them. Just go straight up. They're not swimming to the beach because they want to get immediately in the boat. And you just drive the boat straight to where you parked that four-person car you get the hang of where to park and everything you can always put a marker on the map after you leave the car when you get in the boat and mark where on the beach it's parked once everyone is back in the car you just drive straight over to the avenger don't waste any time trying to shoot down the helicopters the helicopters will spawn once you get to the avenger just get straight in it anyway lift up and fly away there will be helicopters around you as you're leaving but they really won't do that much damage even if they hit you with a missile. So just fly off and go land at the hangar and now you've got your elite challenge. Pegasus vehicles in on this heist, which makes it unique in all the heists in GTA. This is the only one you can call Pegasus vehicles. You can try other vehicles. Uh, use a couple of sh sea sharks as opposed to a dinghy. For example, sometimes there's sea sharks actually parked over here, so that makes it even easier. And of course, if you have a sea shark, if you have a dinghy, whatever boat you have, your air team just chills out and waits for the sub team to do their thing. choppers and air vehicles so no reason not to have fun with it once you get the hang of doing it call in different vehicles see what you like play around a little bit this is a very very easy finale so 
you can always have some fun. In fact, the best way to probably do this is as a two-man team, it is $1.18 million dollars to split it, so if you're doing it two-man, you will get a much bigger cut on both fronts. There's absolutely no difference for the two-man crew. You can still call in a Pegasus vehicle. Only one person goes in the sub, only one person waits back in the boat, but everything else is pretty much the same. You will be slowed down just a fraction in the sub because there will be nobody left behind waiting to take a picture at the control table, but you can still go fast enough through the sub to easily get the Elite Challenge every single time. Sub again. This will be your third time seeing it. Memorize it, get to know it, and you'll be able to get through this sub very, very quickly. You don't have to eliminate all the red dots on the map. There will be a ton of red dots on the map that you cannot eliminate. They're on the other side of the sub. They're not going to hurt you. Just worry about the guys that are in your face on this route, and you're going to be fine. Once you're done intimidating the Russian, you just run right back up to the control room, retrace your steps, go take that picture, start the cinematic, and you'll be ready to go. And that's the act two finale, the Balkan problem. Thank you for watching. This has been Special Agent 9 with LSPD SIU. Please subscribe to our channel to see all our videos and stick with us for the next one.